will this AI tool create good quality videos from just a few simple sentences? That's the question that I want to find out today. So let's jump over to this AI video tool and see what it produces for us. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and I'll also leave a discounted link in the description below so you always get your money's worth. Hello, my name is Marty Englander from brainyautomations.com where I teach people how to automate their digital asset. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Realcraft. So let's just jump in and start seeing what's what. The first thing that you're going to notice once you have logged in to your dashboard is you'll have these three options and this is where we create all of the videos. This tool is a credit-based system, meaning every single time you generate something, it's going to cost you some credits, but down the line, you can purchase more credits if you run out. Then you can see exampled videos of what other people have already created. So let's check out this one. The book, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie offers several key learning for interpersonal skills and success. The power of listening. Okay, that's about a two minute, 44 second video, but already it's actually pretty cool. It would be cool if it had some further animation and what's not, but maybe we'll get into that a little down the line. So we have all of our customization settings over here. We have the portfolio library over here, and then we also can navigate to our dashboard where we can just jump straight over back over to the create a new video. We can also upload our own assets. So our own background music, voice samples and images. And then this is the pricing plan right now. It's currently on discount. So again, if you click the link below, you'll actually be able to get even a better discount than what they're offering directly on the website. But why don't we just get straight into this and start off with a 4K image. So what I want is a dog flying in space dress as a flower. Okay, nice and simple. We can change the music. We can add our own music. We can change the ratio. We'll go ahead and do a, a vertical video. We can add a voiceover if we want, and we can even test what each of these voiceovers Love sound like. The world go round. Love is what Genius makes the is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. We'll choose Dave and submit. For the content, we can choose what style, whether it's a concept, explanation, stories, historical, travel blog, biography, etc. And then for the visibility, we don't need to share it with everyone else on the platform, so we can set it to private if we want. Let's go ahead and click create and see what happens. Okay, so that's now finished. And what it's done, it's done three main things here. It's created a story because it's gonna have some narration over it. It's then gone onto the storyboard and then it's created the final video. So first, let's have a look. So the story is Meet Daisy, a unique dog with an equally unique life. And I'm gonna let you pause the video so you can actually have a read of this. I don't think you need me to read it to you. It's also created a character for us, which is a small dog. She has creamy fur, bright blue eyes, and wears a colorful flower costume, a magical pouch, and seeds hanging around her neck. Now, there's something a little odd with this text, which is it seems to be much more nature-based rather than space-based. So I've got half a feeling that whilst it's saying it's gonna be flying through space, I actually think it's going to be going through a jungle or some, some trees or something, because it keeps using terms like flowers, and seeds and stuff like that. So I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be accurate. Moving on to the storyboard, <laughs> this is exactly what I said. So what it's done is it's created a series of images. Each image is the scene and uh, and it shows us the prompt for each one as well. So uh, the actual image is pretty good, but it's not really done what we've asked for. I mean, this is a bit more related. So this is quite a good image. This is another decent-ish image. So the, there's quite a few. It's quite a, an interesting one because what it's done is it's showing us all different scenes and it's kind of like integrated earth or nature with space. It's not quite what we wanted. In fact, it's nowhere near what we actually wanted, but the overall images are quite good. Are quite the the quite the good quality. Finally, let's have a watch of Daisy, the video. Seemingly an ordinary dog begins to levitate in her garden. An unusual sight indeed. In the next stage, Daisy is seen flying through space. 
wearing her iconic flower attire, a sharp contrast to the darkness all around. Daisy lands on a desolate planet, opens her pouch, and spreads magical seeds that immediately bloom into fluorescent alien flowers. Continuous shots show Daisy traveling to different planets and replicating the same floral transformation. The once barren planets now teem with vibrant life thanks to Daisy's magical seeds. She has become a legend, the Blossom Voyager. Okay, wow, that was next level. So at first I wasn't sure or confident what it was gonna produce, but then if you notice what it did, it created this amazing little story where the dog in fact started off on Earth in all the nature and everything. It had some magic seeds and those magic seeds kind of transformed transported it into space and that's where the story continued so that's why it started off with the nature images and actually transformed into the space story so I am really loving that I actually thought that was exceptional so way to go real crap now if we head back to the storyboard what you can do is add images scenes or even delete things you don't like so to add an image you'll just click add image and then you can even search images or create new ones you can add a new scene just by adding voice over and then all of the images and what you want in that scene. Okay, let's head back to the 3D animation. Okay, so let's head back to 3D animation and this time we're actually going to do a cat chasing a bird in the jungle and let's do create. We'll make this more historical and the prompt height will just do transform the given idea into a story. Okay, so after a while, we finally got there. Uh, it finally finished rendering. It took about 20, 25 minutes to complete. Uh, so quite some time, but let's hope the results are good. Once again, we have our story. We then have our storyboard. So if we just have a quick little look, looking quite good. And the theme was a cat chasing a bird through. So it's not quite looking like we can see any bird but let's see what happens we go to video As the and let's have a look sleek feline an echoing rep stealth mirror of our ants navigating hat this chase speaks volumes of our okay so it didn't quite do what we wanted we wanted a chase through uh, the jungle a cat chasing a bird but uh, we kind of just got more of a uh, documentary about cats it wasn't entirely that what i will say is that the quality of the video the voiceover and the storytelling was really very good and that can be really very useful but overall I thought that was actually quite good. So what do I think about Realcraft and is it worth it? Well you can currently get the lifetime offer for really cheap. Now this is still in its early days and there's clearly quite a few things that needs doing but from a first version of the software it's pretty good. It needs a little bit more fine tuning when it comes to the actual images and the video and the animation. But in terms of the storytelling, the flow of everything, it's very good and it's simple to use. So yeah, I actually do think this real craft is worth buying. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.